You all know the parable of the talents. Jesus tells the story of a girl boss who gave her homie some guap, which is cash. And the first homie hustled, invested that cash, and doubled it. The second homie made some moves, tripled her cash. And the third homie buried the cash for safekeeping. When the girl boss checked up on them, she dissed the homie who buried the cash, snatched it from her pocket, and gave it to the homies who grinded and hustled to blow up their original blessing into balls blessings. I want to share with you my interpretation of this parable. So there once was a great compassionate light whom many people call Jesus or the Christ consciousness. This <clears throat> great compassionate light looked with loving kindness upon three people who were fervently praying to it. Oh, please help me. Oh, please help me. Oh, please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. So the great compassionate light helped each one of them. The first one was healed from being paralyzed. So she went out and helped others who were paralyzed. The second person was cured from addiction and he went out and volunteered to counsel other addicts. The third person was given money so that she could get off the streets. And that person went on to live in a home, get married and have a happy family. But that person helped no one. They took their blessing and enjoyed it. One day their child fell ill and they prayed again. The great compassionate light had a choice. Do I help this person who helps no one? Or do I help someone else who helps everyone? And the great compassionate light looked upon this person praying and said to them, Do you know the gift I give? I took you off the streets and gave you a home and a family. And what did you do? You texted me thanks and then you went on your way. The help I gave you was meant to live on in order to help more people not stuck in your pocket and then thrown away because you don't need it anymore. That day, the doctor on call decided to spend their very precious time in the hospital room next door with a child who had cystic fibrosis. And that child's father, one day after his daughter passed away, raised millions of dollars to fund medical research for children who had suffered in the same way his daughter had. Those who are first in line for blessings often end up the last in line. Those who are last can easily end up the first. Use your blessings wisely. Make a deal with the universe to always be first. <laughs>